Hey guys, Jason Jeffries here. I'm just going to show you uh, how this is absolutely not Mercury or Venus or anything else. Uh, just giving you a little picture. We'll go through a couple of them actually. What I was trying to explain to you guys is this is over a month. All these footages, these captures were over a month. They were behind clouds. The sun was behind different clouds. It was behind a mountain. There's reflections on the water. All these things. You can't call that a ghost image. You can't call it anything because it's reflecting on the water. The reflection on the water from the sun is 10 times the magnitude of that. All right. It's residual infrared light, essentially, bending and bouncing off of the, the water and back at the camera. The camera is sensitive to infrared light. Okay. It is not a ghost image. It is not a known planet. I've been trying to explain this. I would not share it with you guys if it was. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's show you right now. Got it up here. Okay, so we'll go to sky and viewing options. We'll take, we'll, we'll put the atmosphere in just to show you. Okay. Exact time of day, exact location, wherever. San Paulo, Brazil, this is the sunrise. This is about an hour later, actually. I even progressed it further to show you that it is not, most definitely is not. Okay, so here's the ground. What we'll do is I will go, I will take away the atmosphere. So now you're looking at it like it was a night sky, okay? And you realize that, wait, here's the sun over here. There's nothing in our south, okay? There's nothing, all right? What I can also do, most likely, is show you that there's the ecliptic plane, okay? It's going this way. I could actually probably bring it up if you give me one moment. Okay, so there's the planet orbits. Nothing, and I mean absolutely nothing, goes that far to the right of the sun at this time, at this point, nothing at all, okay? The outermost orbit we have there is of Venus, okay? Venus is below the ground. It is below the horizon, okay? And when you consider that the, the sun was almost panned completely off camera, about like that, that's more of what we got to look at. It was almost coming straight from the southeast. Now, let me do one more. I can take away the, the ground and show you that there is nothing, nothing that it should be, okay? Now to emphasize this, we'll go back to the video and show you. Right, there's one. Um, let's just jump through here and see if we can find a couple more. There's, uh, I think that's the one I wanted to show you. All right, so look at the gap between those two. It's almost a whole, a whole camera panned, okay? So right there, you're seeing the, the object, that's just bent light from the object, but you see it as it gets brighter, as it actually raises above. That's actually called bleeding, okay? That's bleeding image. Now, residual infrared on, the, on there. Now it stays there after the object disappears. A reflection does not selectively disappear change and reflect off the water, okay? That's 9.8, We go up to 9.23, and I got another one here for you. So let's get that. Okay, so here's one of the other ones I didn't put in the video because I assumed that you guys would just take my word for it, but uh, I must have assumed wrong. So 
Okay. Bear with me for a second while my computer starts here. All right. So you see it rise. There is the cloud bank behind here, and then you got the, the sun, right? Now watch as this happens. You see it appear from behind the mountain. No. Okay. Explain that. All right. Now I had the, the troll come on my site today and say, Oh, it's a ghost image. Da, 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 da. Essentially what he was saying is this image on the right is an exact reflection of this image on the left, but there is no clouds covering it. There is no this, that, and the other, and it's not selective. All right. Now why people do that is beyond me, but, You'll see here in a moment that this sun becomes covered, this one's visible, this one becomes covered, this one's visible. Um, the reflection on the water stays, but this one, the magnitude on the reflection is 10 times brighter, okay? I just want you to watch this kind of stuff. You can't fake this stuff. Essentially, as I said, it was coming from right to left too, so it's another indicator that this is most definitely a planet, an object, a not a lens flare. It is matter. It is made of something. It is physical. You can go there, touch this thing. <laughs> Essentially is what I'm trying to say. It is real. It's very tangible, right? Reflection on the water. And then we can go to still there. And you're like, hmm, nothing over there. Okay. There's nothing that it could be in that area at all. Okay. Here's Venus. You know. So, I don't, I don't know how to explain it in any other way other than it's, there's no way that, that, that one of these objects is. Okay, so he claimed that this object was it, right? This, uh, I don't know, but one of the viewers, I believe, said Jared Clark or somebody said that that was Venus. Uh, let me go to the date time. Between 6 and 6.30 is what we just watched. Sun's right. Where's the other object? Okay. We'll put, we'll keep the sun right because most of the time this guy was panning out. And, uh, the, the greatest part about it is you can actually see the camera move up. I'll, I'll simulate what happens here. Pretend this is the Nemesis system, okay? Now the webcam operator went like this. He was watching, say this is the sun, for just for pretending, okay? We were looking at the, the sun here, Capella, and we are like, oh, the sun's pretty. And then he takes the webcam, and he goes like this, pans it down, pans it right. He catches this object on there. And once he realizes that this object is showing up there, he goes like this, brings the camera back real quick. I've caught it multiple times, him doing that, the webcam operator himself. So, but that was the narrow view. So if you go to the wide view, which is essentially what we're looking at right now, you could have seen it. So it was only the narrow view camera he was ruining the data in. So I really think that these, these people are trained. They know how to raise the doubt. And somebody else said it was Mercury. Uh, no, Mercury's to the left and above. It's in superior conjunction to the sun. <laughs> so, yeah, there you go. Um, 
No, no, no. This is not debunked. It is not a lens flare. Lens flares do not reflect on water. Period. Lens flares don't show up for 30 days and move right to left. They actually kind of crescendo towards the sun and disappear and then appear out the other side. We've watched Steve Olson's channel. We know what sun solar flares are, I mean, lens flares are. And we absolutely know that I, myself, would not share disinformation or a lens flare just because it's a lens flare. Now, I understand that most people don't understand the, the idea behind this, that, and the other. And if you're not, if you're looking at a light or a reflection or this, that, and the other, and if you've never had the question, questioned yourself, is this light? How does light look? Da, 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 da. If you, at nighttime, you can see the aura around your lampposts or, or the moon or possibly even the sun. And if you look at it in the nice overcast day, where you can see the aura, you can see the reflections, the refractions. And those are normal things, okay? But you, when was the last time you looked up and seen two suns, okay? No, just da, 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 da. I've seen the sunrise twice, about eight minutes apart. Sun rised up and then it disappeared from the sky, just doof, gone. And then the sunrise, <laughs> and then there it was. So the second sun was the real sun. The first one was just an image or a mirage. It was bent light. So far away that it took eight minutes to reach my eyeballs. It curved so much that it appeared to rise up above the horizon before it did, okay? Now, that's all in the eye of the viewer, the, the person that's perceiving it. That's all. Just wanted to show you that, nope, this hasn't been debunked. If they have debunked it, they have me worried. Okay? I, I do not want, know why people are going to such great lengths to cover up something that I believe is very important to humanity to know. And, yeah, not questioning anybody's integrity, but I feel like because of the channels like other channels that just rather push a thousand shitty contents and a thousand shitty pictures and a thousand lens flares just for content instead of actually doing research like I have and kind of throwing away the whatever's junk and then picking out the good stuff, piecing it together in a format that people can can put in their mind and actually, you know, digest. I want, I want people to understand what I'm saying. I want people to understand that there's a lot of bullshit out there. And just because I say some big words and then talk faster than you doesn't mean I'm any smarter than you or street smart or anything like that. It doesn't mean absolutely anything. Okay. And it's just, all right, all right. That's just like, um, saying like Britney Spears is like a great musician or something because she sold over a million records or whatever. No, that just means a million people are stupid as fuck, okay? They bought into the consumerism. <laughs> Said it many times. Um, I don't know how to explain it without going into just little metaphors and parables, but like, you know, basically... The truth is hard to find, you know, so I, I believe I, I've said it to my friends a few times. I can't recall where I got it from, but it was uh, just says a little saying, um, universal truth is not measured in mass appeal. So if you think about it, it's completely true. And I believe that's why my community small because there's I make things for the shepherd not for the sheep if you will I make for things for people that do not blindly follow you know they they question authority and they question in the right places and then when they someone earns their trust they trust those people loyally 
and undyingly. And that's, that's a good trait to have, but it just shows you that our numbers are a lot smaller than some other people's. People, a lot of people like sensationalism. Or to watch something and be told, you know, a bunch of bull crap or even to take, take into prayer into consideration and make it, make it seem like, Oh, they're, they're praying for this and that. And, you know, that's what's good. Good's going to come out of the world. And I believe in manifesting energy. I believe in the power of prayer, things like that, because whether if you're making a peanut butter sandwich, sandwich or the Taj Mahal, it all starts as a thought in your head. It, it, it literally that peanut butter sandwich was a imaginary peanut butter sandwich in your brain that you manifested and created because you said you wanted a peanut butter sandwich you envisioned the peanut butter sandwich then you went out you got the bread you envisioned oh what no i need peanut butter next and you put the peanut butter on there and now you have a peanut butter sandwich okay start with the thought i understand that but sitting around hoping for and praying for a savior to come hoping and praying for somebody to fix your problems. That's, you're missing the point. All these religious teachings taught about redemption and repentance, but that means uh, the same as do as thou wilt, okay? Do what you're going to do. But in the end, there's going to be a final judgment. There is karma. There is right and wrong, essentially. You're going to be on the left or the right. You're going to be up or down. You're going to be definitely something in the end okay now if your corruption successfully changes your fate does it mean you're a bad person no you're you're a good person you were born good you had a good soul but you corrupted it you tainted it you got it dirty and now it's time to go through the washer machine again the washing cycle and relive suffer, kind of pay a little bit, work. It's not all about fun. But once you realize it's all in your mind, then you have control. Don't let others control you. Uh, I let others control me right now just by putting up this video because I, I said I wasn't going to do it because I already did it. And I just, the recording didn't come out well. I figured you guys would just take my word for it. But essentially, I uh, hope this helps. And yeah, if you guys need anything else, just let me know in the comments section. Thanks.